Hello and welcome to the second part of the Gaia video tutorial. In this part we'll discuss some of the basic elements of the Gaia application. We'll add a base map, we'll add a node and eventually save our session to a file. First let's take a look at the user interface. At the top of the application is the menu bar. Around the map there are various toolbars including one dock to the right called the location bookmarks toolbar. To the left is a side panel that includes map layers and nodes panel. The center of the application there is a splash screen. This splash screen is replaced by a map once we start adding layers. To add a layer we can use either the control A shortcut or the menu or use this button right uh, on the map layers panel. The add layers dialog consists of three tabs, OGC services, base maps, and files. The, for this demo, let's use base maps. Uh, we'll add a, a layer for Microsoft Virtual Earth called Roads, and we immediately see the preview and click OK. The map is generated, and now we'll use some of the map tools, including some of the map tools that include zoom in, zoom out, pan, uh, going back and forth between bounding boxes, the info tool, uh, full map view and refresh. Um, let's use the zoom in tool um, to set the, our map to a US national view. I want to preserve that location, that region and zoom. I can use the P button and then select one um, and this preserves uh, this region of interest under the button one. So I can click one and go back to the US national level. I can repeat this process and do that for uh, the US East Coast. I'll set that as, as location two. And the New York City uh, area. I'll use that as location number three. Next thing I want to do is add a note. The notes toolbar consists of a drag note tool, an add note tool, delete note tool, and edit note. I want to add a note. I'll select that tool and click on the map. This will open the note editor dialog. I'll add some text. In this case, I want to add a note about Trump Tower. I want to set the note color to uh, Donald Trump's uh, uh, signature shirt color, which is pink. And I'll select a push pin, which is a little more appropriate for this note. Uh, once clicking on the push pin, we'll, I open the symbol selector. And now I'll select the dollar sign. I'll click OK. I want to add a picture to my note. I'll click the load picture and scroll down to find the uh, picture of the Trump Tower. Here it is. I'll select it, open, and my picture is added. Lastly, I'll select the layout which consists of just the picture itself. Now for those of you who know Manhattan, know that this is not the exact location of the Trump Tower. Luckily my image is geotagged. I can actually use that. And uh, what I'll do is I'll select the edit note, select the note, click on it, and use the set location button to grab the, the location from the picture. I'll click OK. And the note moved. Let me pan to the correct place. Another uh, feature is the info tool where I can click on the image and open a, a, a picture viewer to see the image it's in its actual size. I'll close that. Lastly, I want to save my session to a file. I'll use the save as and place my file at the appropriate location. Please note that the GSF is a self-contained file. Uh, once I save this GSF, uh, uh, there is no dependency on uh, uh, local environmental settings, there is no dependency on local files. Uh, it's truly a self-contained file uh, for Gaia use. Uh, so you can email that file, um, you can open it offline, um, you can use it online. And the nice thing about it, once you get online, all sessions will resume, all web services will connect again.